Hi, I'm Eric. Uh, this is our lab mates, Jacob and Anthony. We are going to be simulating a jar test today. Uh, for a jar test, you're going to need a six pound stirrer, six 1,000 milliliter beakers, uh, an analytical balance, which we have in the back of the room, uh, coagulants, which are specific uh, coagulants, it's going to be a polymer, your sample, which uh, contains an unknown uh, uh, pollutant. You'll need graph paper to graph the final results, stir plate to mix the Polymer into solution and volumetric pipettes to make sure you get the right amount of polymer into the beakers. What the jar test is, it's a method of simulating a full scale water wastewater treatment process. Common applications are turbidity, phosphorus, color, softening, and heavy metals. Polymer and water and wastewater treatment can decrease clarifier time and it works over a wide pH range. For uh, the polymer slurry, we took one gram of polymer, put it in a mortar, uh, using a mortar and pestle, added three milliliters of uh, water soluble ethanol, ethanol to it, grinded it up, uh, put it into the volumetric flask, uh, diluted it to 1,000 milliliters, of which then we uh, took it out of the list and added to the beakers, which have 1,000 milliliters of. Uh, contaminated water each. So what this is representing is coagulation and flocculation. And what that means is coagulation is going to destabilize the suspended particles, um, allowing agglomeration. And basically what that means is they're going to bond with one another to form larger chunks within the water, making it easier to settle out. And flocculation is basically the same thing but picking up the smaller, finer particles that are in the solution. And how this is going to work is one minute at 60 to 80 RPMs, and this is going to represent the flash, flash mixing involved in water treatment, and then 15 minutes of 30 RPMs, which is going to be the flocculation process, followed by 30 minutes of just letting it settle on its own. So. Next, we will show you the process. Alright. Now we will turn it on. You want to make sure you get it up to the 60 80 revolutions per minute. I have it at 70. We'll do this for one minute. Now we will slow it down to 30 RPMs. This is now representing the flash mixer. And this is going to go for 15 minutes. Okay, uh, now our 15 minutes uh, are up of our flocculation process. We can go ahead and turn this off. Pull six bar stir up. We also, uh, just so you know, we used of our polymer stir. We added 5 milliliters to this speaker, 25 to this speaker, 50, 75, and 100. And this speaker was our uh, control, so we did not add any more or anything to that one, so we could test off that. Run 
the uh, last stage of the process now. We're going to let this sit and settle out for 30 minutes, and then we're going to come back, where we will then go ahead and do the other forms of testing to determine the quality of our samples. During this stage of conducting the jar test, we're going to move on for testing our samples using NTUs, or finding NTUs, is the nephilometric turbidity units. Uh, during this procedure, we're going to be using instruments here at Vermilion Community College, and what we have is a Hawk 2100P turbidimeter. And this is going to determine the optimal amount of polymer in our samples needed to effectively treat water and wastewater effluent. Alright, here are uh, a couple formulas that we use to figure out how much polymer you, polymer you will then need on a large scale. Uh, you have to figure out your pounds that you need per day, you have to figure out your milligrams per liter, then you have a constant 8.34, and then you uh, also have your uh, million gallons per day. So you figure out how much water is coming through your facility. Uh, you take your optimal amount of uh, polymer or other coagulant, you multiply them all together and that will give you your pounds that you'll need per day of total polymer. And then uh, figure out how much this will cost you. There's you know, through the cost per pound, which polymer costs roughly $2.42 per pound. You'll take your total pounds per day and that will give you da total daily cost. Uh, that's about a wrap. Our test has finally come to a close, and our samples have finally finished settling for the last 30 minutes. The t pH has been tested along with the turbidity, and we can obviously see that there's been some form of change here on the 5 to 25 milliliters of polymer added to our sample compared to uh, the higher doses of 175 and 50. Uh, not the uh, not the change we were looking for, but once again, you know, you can always stress this is why a jar test, is, jar test being conducted on a small level is obviously going to have its benefits and not costing a lot of money or time. And you can really pinpoint where you need to go and you can try again without it really consuming a lot of your time. Thank you.